Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and there is a new patch for Warcraft Rumble, so head out to your app store and download the new patch to enjoy all the new goodies in this patch. Because there's some really good quality of life changes, there's some surprising little nerfs here and there, and of course it wouldn't be a Blizzard patch if there also weren't some bugs. And first things first, this is probably the most notable bug that you're going to notice. Yeah, you're going to see an Arclight search even if you completed one on Sunday, but you can't complete this because that's not really there. It's a visual bug, you have already done that search. That said, there are changes to Arclight searches in this patch. Because Arclight search will now search one zone four times per week, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, instead of two zones two times per week, Sunday and Thursday. So the overall amount of code that you're going to earn is going to remain the same. All of these searches are going to stay for three days, so they are going to overlap. So if you want to complete your searches twice a week, that is still possible because the searches are overlapping. But if you want to keep completing searches as quickly as possible, you can now do so four times per week. And then there's some balance changes, although note that some of these changes were actually applied to the game already when Chimera was introduced, so not all of these are going to change your game today, some of these already did so earlier. Like Talnos damage increase, that was already live with Chimera, Gromash Hellscream health increase, also already live with Chimera. Now there's also mini stepping on minis level now displays a tooltip showing all of its bonus levels and their sources. Yeah, that has caused a lot of confusion on like where are all these levels coming from? Now going to be a little bit easier to see. Talent changes, Baron Driven there. The skeleton mage spawn frequency of Chill of the Grave has been increased for towers to 18 seconds from 15 seconds. So this is a nerf to Chill of the Grave talent of Baron Driven there. Note that the spawn frequency from your own base, which is one minute, remains the same. It was one minute before, it's still one minute now. It's only the spawn rate from towers and meeting stones that has been changed. Then Blood Mage Talnos lifesteal gain from Drain Life has been increased from 8% to 10%. That was live already with Chimera and also it doesn't actually do much. But then a significant nerf that's coming now, today in this patch, Blizzard. Gold Snap should now slow movement as intended instead of applying a stun. That's a pretty major nerf to the Blizzard talent because it used to apply a stun, which means that the units were unable to do anything, they didn't shoot back. Now it's only free system in place, but they can still keep shooting, so pretty pretty completely different. Dark Eye Miner, AoE damage triggered by Gold Mine should no longer damage flying troops. Then we have various other bug fixes to Dark Spear Trolls Headhunting Talent, to Defy Bandits' Speak Clock, Cheat, Death Apocalypse, Prosperous Shaman, Search Shield and Earthwall Totem so that uses are no longer wasted. General Drag is at Piercing Blow is going to it a little bit more accurately. Griffin Riders air drop potions no longer consumed by chests, so little quality of life changes here and there. And then we get to another major nerf, Maya of Shadow Song. Remorseless should now deal double damage instead of triple damage. Yep, that's a big, big nerf to damage from Remorseless. Then a big buff to Plague Farmer. Well, buff, it's actually a bug fix. And this was already live with the Chimera patch, by the way. Plague Farmer should now actually receive extra range and splash area when the Splashing Pumpkin's talent is equipped. Which means that with the Splashing Pumpkin's talent, Plague Farmer outranges regular towers. So Plague Farmer and Meat Wagon are the two units that can outrange regular towers right now. Tyrion Ford Ring, Divine Shields, no probably block attacks from General Track is at. Quillbore, Bramble Burst timing has been adjusted to very sync up with visual effects. So that has been adjusted to apply the poison earlier. So that's a, somewhat of a buff for that Quillbore talent. Further additional changes, Burn now has a 0.5 second delay before the first tick of damage is dealt. Reapplying Burn rapidly will not cause this delay to reset, ensuring Burn damage is dealt consistently, regardless of application frequency. Okay, then player versus player increased the rate at which leaders gain honor in PvP has been live since the beginning of Season 2. If you have not done a whole lot of PvP, especially on the lower ranks, you may have noticed that, hey, honor is easier to come by than it was before. And also the number of mini copies received from PvP honor rewards has been rebalanced to provide more copies earlier. Yeah, I guess they noticed that people are actually not ever reaching those high ranks in PvP. So now, once you reach 10,000 honor, which not many people will even that, then you're going to get four copies of Chimera instead of one, so you can get an uncommon Chimera. And when you add these four copies from 10,000 honor to the 10 that you get from the guild chest, that means that that's 14 copies and that's one rare. So 
10,000 player honor plus being in a guild means that you can get a rare chimera this season. Then some dungeon fixes, the Basilisk Fang Relic, the one that makes your poison deal double damage and tw last twice as long, now deals the correct amount of damage. Band of Organist, Band of Protector, applies correctly with Chaga, and dungeons no longer forbid players from proceeding for 10 minutes if a match fails to start properly. So there's actually two huge issues fixed that caused you to just sit and wait for your client. First is this one, dungeons, now instantly accessible, and second, the first one of bug fixes, fixed an issue with the continue button not being tappable at the end of a game. We swear, probably. Continues are now instant. You're going to be able to actually continue games instead of waiting for eight seconds every once in a while. So that's sweet. What else is there? Chain lightning should no longer bounce to Sylvan Spanish multiple times. Rend and Git range stats probably grouped. Chimera stat page should show the correct damage. Frostful Shaman healing should now match what is shown on the stat page. Uh, that is not a functional change. The healing is exactly the same. The stat page was wrong, but that's just a fix to that one. Abomination should no longer be able to hook minis on a bridge above him. It appears that there have been some changes to line of sight when it comes to bridges. There are now some instances where units on the bridge are no longer hit from below, if they're sufficiently center of the bridge or something. So that will need to be explored more to fully understand it, but it appears that something has been done about visibility to and from bridges. And Co-Hounds can now resurrect their buddies if they get stealth. So Co-Hounds with the talent that they have unlimited resurrection range now work even better. So yeah, Co-Hounds possibly coming to a game right near you. And also fixed a couple of enemy armies that had multiple copies of Harpies in their deck, causing them to be able to play Harpies back to back. There have been reports of AI being able to play back-to-back -back minis in other instances as well. One thing that I've seen noticed often is the crowd pummeler with all of those safe pilots. But there is a map mechanic for crowd pummeler that makes them play safe pilots. Actually, that was discussed with Blizzard employees at the community Discord just today after this patch notes dropped. And they said that they're going to check that. But preliminarily, they don't think there is a problem there. At least the problem is not that the... Uh, boss would have multiple safe pilots in their deck so that they could play them multiple times like that. Other than that, there's at least one undocumented change, and that is the double dragon talent for Deep Breath, which makes Deep Breath shoot both ways and has dealt double damage to the overlapping area, but it no longer does, so it's just one time damage for all now. So, yeah, continue button, dungeon weight fixed, those are big things, those have been super, super annoying. Some surprising nerfs, including that Blizzard nerf. So that definitely caught me by surprise. And then some stuff still here that's either undocumented, like the Deep Red Talent, or maybe documented poorly, like that Abomination and Hook, and how do bridges really work right now? I'm not certain. And you can also find a whole bunch of stuff if you just browse through the client. And for example, if you look at Heroic Campaign right now, it actually shows you that, hey, there's tomes to be awarded here, and there's going to be a bonus. So who knows what all is undocumented in this patch, but be as it may, new patch, some really big quality of life changes. And yeah, hoping for a lot more to come, but already Rumble, now playable. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.